Welcome to the installation video of the Aries Trail Chaser front bumper on a Jeep Wrangler. This bumper is available in both steel and aluminum. Its modular design allows for multiple configuration options. Begin by removing the factory bumper. This process may vary depending on the type of factory bumper being removed. Remove the air dam from underneath the vehicle. From behind the bumper, disconnect the wiring harness attached to each fog light. Remove the nuts securing the bolts onto the bumper frame with an 18mm socket. When all of the bolts have been removed, Carefully lift the bumper from the frame and set it on a flat work surface. Locate the two fasteners holding the frame cover in place on top of the frame behind where the bumper used to sit. Remove these with a Phillips screwdriver. It may be helpful to use a pry tool to assist with removal. If your Jeep has a standard bumper, remove the stock fog lights to be used in the new Aries Trail Chaser bumper. If you are installing LED side extensions, set the side extensions onto a flat work surface. Insert the rubber gasket and LED light into place as shown. Secure the four LED light attachment points with a socket cap screw, flat washer, and nylock nut at each point. Tighten all of the hardware and repeat for the second side extension and light. Set the new Aries center section onto a flat work surface. Lift a bumper side into place and insert a hex bolt with locking and flat washer. Secure the bolt with a second flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut. Repeat this for all three attachment points. Snug the hardware at this time, but do not fully tighten. With bolt extensions loosely installed, check to make sure that the bumper corners match up. Adjust if necessary and fully tighten all of the hardware with a 16mm socket and wrench. Insert the fog lights into the new bumper. Each light will have three attachment points. Insert a socket cap screw with flat washer and secure with a flat washer and nylock nut. Tighten using a 7mm socket and the provided Allen wrench. Repeat this for the other light. For 2012 models and later, you will see a vacuum pump on the driver's side. This will need to be relocated to accommodate for the new bumper. With the 10mm socket, loosen the rear bolt and fully remove the front bolt. Swing the vacuum pump towards the rear of the vehicle. Snug the rear bolt, but do not fully tighten. With the vacuum pump moved, you will be left with the factory bracket that originally held the front post in place. If you are installing a winch receiver plate, this will need to be removed to allow clearance for the plate. Using a cutoff tool, cut off the vacuum bracket as shown and deburr the cut edge. Use some touch-up paint to protect the raw metal. Pull out the wiring harness from the side of the frame. Tuck the fog light wiring harness into the frame channel. Place tape on the provided nut plates. Place the nut plate to the frame, aligning the two threaded holes with the holes in the Jeep frame. Temporarily hold it in place with tape. Set the winch support bracket in place, making sure that the wiring harness is routed below the bracket as shown. Insert the M12 and M10 bolts with flat washers and lock washers. Repeat this step on the driver's side. Do not tighten the fasteners until all four bolts are started. Remove the tape from both nut plates and using a torque wrench, torque the hardware to the value specified in the included instruction sheet. To install the brush guard, place the center section onto a flat work surface and lift the guard into place. Insert a hex bolt and fasten with a locking and flat washer. Secure the bolt with a second flat washer and hex nut. 
Repeat this for all four attachment points. Adjust if necessary and fully tighten all the hardware with a 16mm socket and wrench. With help, lift the bumper into place over the Jeep frame. Insert a hex bolt with flat washer behind the bumper bracket and secure with a flat and lock washer with a hex nut. Repeat this on all attachment points. Snug the hardware but do not fully tighten. Take the vacuum pump and place the threaded bolt through the tab on the bumper and attach it with a nylock nut. Check to make sure the bumper is level. Adjust if necessary and fully tighten all of the hardware. Congratulations on the installation of your new Ares Trail Chaser bumper. For more products like this, go to AriesAutomotive.com.